I see this guy, he's cool. He's got those glasses on, you know. Didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm saying, hmm, all right. Um, you know, elegant, eloquent, uh, very quiet, very careful with his words. You know, always thoughtful and always studying everything. But it wasn't, it wasn't cold. It was some other thing going on. I was, what the heck is this? So, <laughs> I had seen by that time, over a period of a couple of years, four or five of his pictures. And starting, you know, the trilogy, the um, olive trees, all of that. Simplicity, we talk about simplicity with uh, Kirstami, of course, of us. But purity being the key, but it's not easy. You know, many of Abbas's features are uh, com complex. Taste of Cherry is very complex. And Certified Copy, which is a beauty, uh, is certainly complex. Um, but they're, they're, they're there to be peeled away to get to the essential core at the center. And when I see Kirstami's films, when I see the olive trees, when I see ABC Africa, or where is the home of my friend, or the, the wind will carry us, or any of these pictures, the last section of five, the, the, the fifth episode, I think. Uh, I mean, I found that purity again. I, I, found that I, I, you know, I found that I wanted to spend the time with the people in these films. It was like a cleansing to spend time with the spirit of those films, those worlds, the spirit of the artistry which makes me see people in the world in a new, refreshing and hopeful way. And I'm thinking of close-up. I've been thinking of close-up since I've seen it after that festival, you know? Uh, which, by the way, we had a great time at. Became very good friends. Um, I'm thinking of Sadzian. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. In close-up, when he's speaking before the court, about why he pretended to be Moshin Makhmabaf. Quote, they gave me their attention. He's talking about the family now that he deceived. They gave me their attention and respect, he says of the family. Quote, because of my passion for cinema, and above all because they respected me and supported me morally, I really got into the part. It encouraged me to play the role better to where I even felt I was a director. I really was. But when I'd leave and I'd head back home, I'd have to shed the character." Unquote. You know, what he couldn't do in his everyday life, the life of a poor guy who couldn't even afford to buy his kids some treats, um, he could do that in the role of Makhmabath. And that is interact one-on-one -on -one with the members of the family without being judged or condescended to or ignored altogether through the experience of cinema, creating cinema, even without filming the camera. He exists and he matters. You know, why did he have to play the role of a director? Well, he could have been a businessman, but it's not about money. It's not about money. It's about mutual respect. It's about humanity. So I'm so moved by this. I was so moved by that film. That was a, a complete uh, change in terms of uh, seeing the world again. I know I'm repeating myself, but it really is an extraordinary film. He wanted to show me, before he left, he wanted to show me these uh, 24 frames, which was wild, on a computer. And if many of you haven't seen this stuff yet, maybe you must have, I'm not quite sure, but they are remarkable. And he said, I know you have not much time, you must get rest. I said, no, it's all right. Said, no, no, I want to see how many. Each one is four minutes, you know. What does it mean to love movies? Uh, to love cinema, you know, there, okay, there are camera movements, there's editing, there's non-editing, um, angles, style, spectacle. And I guess to a certain extent that's all true, you take that into consideration. But all these things add a certain, they add to a certain love of cinema, right? But technique and technical sophistication affects us only to the extent that they help work to create simple, direct contact between the filmmaker and the audience. Um, really because for us, or people who make film who love film, cinema is life. And it's really the cinema that's inspired him. It's maybe a definition of cinema itself. Maybe it's the reason why we create to matter, to exist. A great loss, I mean, you fall into the habit of thinking that someone's always going to be there. Always in the future. Then the fact that they're absence, that they are absent, it hits you hard and it keeps coming back, it won't go. The impact has been so strong. And I know I'll be thinking of Abbas in this way for some time, as I, uh, for some time to come, and I know you will be too.